Magandang gabi, Masal Khir. Good evening, and welcome to the end of the ceremony where it's time to say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Today actually marks the 10th graduation ceremony of Enderin Colleges. In the last 10 years, Enderin has produced extraordinary professionals, entrepreneurs, and leaders. For 10 years, Ender and alumni have surpassed limitations and blazed a trail ahead and opened doors for us and for those to come. And here now, as the class of 2019, we stand as the Big Ten, and we are challenged to build on the legacy of Ender and greatness. The selection of the Ender and valedictorian is entirely unconventional. An Ender and valedictorian is not necessarily the smartest but one with a story to tell. And here's mine. Well, my name is Shara Ann Aguila Hanua. 20 bucks to somebody who actually could get that right in their first spelling. No one. <laughs> I was born and raised in the Middle East, born to OFW parents. My childhood was in Bahrain, and my teenage years was in Dubai. It was not until I chose to pursue a higher education in hospitality that I chose to move to the Philippines. I had no immediate family, friends, or relatives nearby. My support system, my high school girls, weren't here as well. So by default, Enderun was my second home. And for four years, it was my only home. There are 135 Enderun students who marched into this tent today. And here we are, here I am, representing you not your number one, but your number two to your 200 and 135, rather. Because today, we won. We finished. And today, my fellow graduates, we claim our win, the win that matters. And that whatever we did, we had to do to get here, we did. We didn't quit. We embraced the hard, the difficult, the unexpected. Boy, what a ride it was, wasn't it? And what's the quote? Life's a journey, it's not about the destination. Well, the journey I always looked up to was my father's. He li we lived a simple life. He was an overseas Filipino worker who's dedicated 30 years of his life abroad to ensure that we had a roof over our heads, clothes on our back, and foods on our plate. And as the youngest, I was sheltered from the brutal truths what it was like to be an OFW. The day I first took my steps to independence through my internships abroad was the day I actually understood what he went through. For the Enderun student, the internships are what we all grew up. And for many of us, it's not because it was easy. It was because it was hard. It was not necessarily the job, but it was the life that came with it. Behind the glamorous photos I took during my internship in Boston, what most of you did not know was that I was actually couch surfing for a good three weeks. Until, at least a hundred inquiry emails later, I was able to finally secure a lease. You know, I'm not sure, I, I'm sure I'm not the only one who was told that I was too young, I got the wrong passport, I got the wrong visa, you're too short that they didn't know where I was from. What was worse, they did know where I was from. I mean, I'm sure we've all had our war stories. We all know about the silver linings and the proverbial light at the end of the tunnel because we've seen the dark clouds and we've been in dark tunnels. We've all gone through the ups, downs, in-betweens, but have come out the other side with dreams and aspirations. And as much as I learned about resilience, I learned so much more about gratitude and the condition of Filipino OFWs all around the world and the 30 years of sacrifice of my OFW father. But I think this is what sets Enderin apart, really. We befriended adversity in every way and learned to chase after every opportunity. We can be resilient and determined. Yes, we have passion, but there are other P words in our vocabulary. There is persistence, productivity, purpose, purpose. 
We belong to the generation that can reset norms and rewrite the rules. And we're not just gonna do it for ourselves. We're gonna do it for each other, for those to come. To my fellow graduates, always remember the only person who can stop you from achieving from what you can truly attain is yourself. And just like me, we all have our battles to face in our everyday lives as future business leaders and, cu and current global citizens. We all have different journeys along the way. In fact, coming from Endera, we can all be identified as valedictorians because we all have a story to tell. And we will continuously have a story to tell. In other words, be the episode you wait for at the end of your favorite show at the end of every week. But make sure each episode is worth watching. Be kind, be brave, be ambitious, be grateful, be a titan, be an endurant titan. And I would ask my fellow titans in this crowd to repeat after me as I say, I am, I am. A Titan. Congratulations, class of 2019. This is Ender.